to air is is uh, Elsa was one of your adoptees, and uh, she's a pit bull. Um, mm-hmm. She had some problems, though. She had an aneurysm of some sort and uh, wasn't able to walk. She was totally paralyzed. Right. And her owners were at the show yesterday to bring her on stage, and what a fantastic dog that is. <laughs> Elsa. So you had some experience with her. She came into the... How did she wind up in the shelter? Uh, she came from a cruelty seizure uh, with the SPCA. So it was uh, a, a puppy mill or an irresponsible breeding situation where there was 26 dogs on the premises. And um, I believe about 17 of them were puppies that were being sold on Craigslist. So they were just in all in the most horrible shape. They had open wounds. They had, The puppies were malnourished, sick, respiratory um, problems. Some of the puppies had... Uh, the malnutrition was was so severe that they broke bones just from doing things like jumping off a couch. Oh man, um, that's horrible. Yeah, one of our one of our worst uh, one of the worst things we've seen. Um, and Elsa was obviously went into an amazing family that saw her through all of her recovery, even up to the aneurysm. She she had some major self uh, health issues. Um, and two of those uh, two of those puppies from that same seizure will also be joining us at the Beyond the Myth event at November 18th. And like Elsa, they've all, they've gone on to become certified therapy dogs. So, how cool is that? How how much does that show the resilience of the breed to come from that situation and now be assessed, certified, and working as therapy dogs? Great. Well, uh, April yesterday she came on stage and she, uh, you know, she had some trouble walking. But the the two people that adopted her have taken her to rehab just about around the clock and got her to a point where she could walk on stage and she was playing with squeaky toys. <laughs> and um, maybe you've already talked to her, told our listeners that she does go into some of these rehab areas. GF Strong in on the Lower Mainland where she does work with people who have had similar brain injuries to hers. Oh, wow. That That's is incredible. amazing. Yes, she does yeah. go in and she's now a uh, therapy dog for GF Strong and she will go in there. And uh, the owners were saying on stage that uh, they've been able to um, go in and talk to people who say, That's exactly what happened with me. Wow. And they're able to relate with her. So she's she's brought it around. She's giving back. And, and what a wonderful story that was. In fact, I don't think there was a dry eye in the audience yesterday. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's amazing. What we're going to do, April, we're going to take just a short break for some news headlines. And we're going to uh, take a break. And then we're going to come back and we're going to talk a little bit more.